No place to go, no place to call home. Today is the last day for those living at the homeless encampment near the Micronesia Mall to clear out. But as one woman living here shares, it's a difficult move. I don't know where to go anymore. Her situation so tough, she didn't want to show her face, only going by the name Kristen. It's hard. They said they were going to help. They, I gave them my number to see if they're going to help me, but it, I guess it's not pulling through. Forced to relocate, but she's not sure where to go or how to bring all her belongings there. I don't have a truck because I, I got a lot of stuff to, to take that, you know, that belongs to us. It's, it's hard to push with the push cart. I got big stuff, I got, you know, I have to make sure everything's out of here. The Attorney General's office taking legal action last week, giving them five days to vacate the premises with their belongings or risk getting forcibly removed by authorities. This jungle area may look like just another hiking spot, but for some, they've called it home for years. I've been here long, so long already. At least more of a home than a homeless shelter where she would be separated from her loved one. They're going to separate both of us. They said they were gonna put. They, were, they want us to. They want to put us at a shelter, but I might be up in Dedede, though He might be in Bar um, Chalampago, so I don't want that. Still, she worries about where to go next. Come tomorrow. I don't know why they're not doing what they're supposed to do when we're ready to almost finish backing. So I don't know where to do anymore. Meantime, Dededo Mayor Melissa Savares tells KUAM that efforts are underway to help them even after the five days are up. We're going to be going there this week. I just don't have the exact date right now. Uh, but once we have the available rooms of the different or facilities in the different areas, collectively we will go there at one time and we will be, um, you know, we'll go see who needs to move and We'll see who the, um, what spaces we have available. They will not forcibly be dragged out of the area. Okay, we're working all the, with the agencies together. Still, the sign, which looks like an eviction notice, states otherwise, giving a clear warning that authorities will thereafter remove all violators and clear the premises. Matsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.